Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City. And, you know, as an investment specialist, you know, we sell both new and existing homes. But what I want to go through with you right now is some of the red flags, basically, that I see in existing homes that you need to look out for. I mean, I'm not saying don't buy them at all, but, you know, careful inspection is going to be really, really important to you. You know, number one is the roof. You know, in say in Oklahoma, where we live, uh, you know, we have what's called hailstorms and you have them throughout the South and Southwest Midwest. This is the time of the year where maybe it may be warm, you know, down below, but it's cold up above where the rain starts and it turns into hard pellets, turns into hail. And enough hail can really do some damage to the roof. And that is something that's extremely important that you look at. The other thing about a roof is, is that, you know, you may get replacement, what's called replacement value on an existing home, but let's say the home is six years old uh, and that roof is six years old. Then you start on the roof a depreciation schedule. So not only do you have, say, your $2,500 deductible, but you also have the house that's starting to, the roof that's starting to depreciate. If something is five years or less, Typically, most insurance companies are going to give you a replacement value on the roof after they've inspected it. So that's a red flag to work out is that, that condition of the roof. That's the first thing that I would look at. The second thing is the heat and air system. So if you have a, a house that, hey, this looks like a really good buy, but the heat and air system is like 20, 25 years old, you have a couple of problems there. First of all, the usable life span of a heat and air system. It may last 40 years, I don't know, but normally, about 15 to 25 years is it. And so you're kind of looking again at a big capital expense. It's also a, a heat and air system that's not up to current standards. In other words, it doesn't have the energy efficiencies that you know a really, really uh, new air conditioning system you know, would have. Uh, I think the third thing is if we buy an older home, it's probably going to be carpeted throughout. And there's two problems with carpeting if you're buying a rental property. Number one is wear and tear. So if you're buying a house at 10 years old, and it's the carpet that's original, even five years old, it's a good chance it needs to be replaced. I think the second problem that I'm finding with carpeting right now, is not just the maintenance, the fact that in a rental property that have people coming in and out, you still may replace it every five years, is allergies. You know, maybe you have allergies, maybe your children have allergies. And carpeting can really hold all that stuff that really bothers your nose and bothers your sinuses. And so that's the other thing. So, you know, one thing you want to look for or factor in that you want to spend after you close is vinyl plank, you know, or tile even. You know, something that is incredibly durable, something that is not something that is related to allergies. And that's the other thing that you need to look for in red flags. Um, there's another red flag. Uh, which is uh, there's a lot of short-term rentals there. You know, I'm not against short-term rentals. Now. We're owners of short-term rentals, but there is always a limit to it. In fact, there's a limit to any kind of rental that are in there. But, you know, if you have people coming in and out every day or every three days or every week, that could be a red flag for you. Or even the fact that maybe the 20, 25% of the neighborhood is rental. Uh, and that could be very much a red flag to you. Let me see. One other thing. I forgot to mention, older homes, utility costs. Remember that a tenant pays the utilities. And if you have an older home and all of a sudden they have to pay $400 or $500 a month versus 200, you're gonna lose that tenant. And so look for the newer homes. It's not the only red flags that we can talk about. Doesn't mean you shouldn't buy them, but the price is gonna be really important when you talk about these red flags.